to break down Team Dignitas' 2-0 start to the series. Thank you, gentlemen. 2-0, but we have to remind ourselves that this league is no stranger to reverse sweeps. So there is a possibility that we... we it's right uh, there, dude. <laughs> this, more than just Liquid has experienced the reverse sweep. Yeah. It has run rampant in the NALCS. Uh, first off, the 2v2 again, losing it again on the side of Fusion. We did see Nian come back and farm a little bit uh, in the middle of the game, but it was at you know, at the cost of the rest of the team, right? Jungle, min jungle farm going over to Nian in hopes that he could carry, and it didn't work out. Yeah, it ended up putting Nintendo a little bit behind in levels. But also, the big thing is I felt like he started getting baited positionally by I have to soak these side waves, I have to go after jungle camps, and that's actually what ultimately cost them the Baron was Nian's positioning right before it. Well, and the other thing that also cost them the Baron to an extent is the lack of TP there, right? Gamsu had his TP able to rejoin with the team very quickly. Chunky relegated to walking halfway across the map and then ulting the second half of the map. And, and I do feel like TPs in general played a pretty large role in that game there. There were, there were not some less than spectacular ones. So that's one big thing about competitive play and solo queue. Solo queue, if you just TP down there, you can pretty much salvage something. You can get something out of it. But in competitive play, if you mess up your TP, the other team is going to be like, TP's down, we have TP, let's use that, let's see what we can do. Solo queue, they're like, oh, what's a TP? Like, I have a knife. You know, like that, that's kind of mentality. So it's just, we're seeing a lot more coordination from Ding Tasa's side with their TPs. They're knowing when to use it, they're knowing when to save it. They're having Gamsu split when TP's down, you know, stuff like a whole bunch of things that they're doing right and we're seeing a huge advantage that they're getting and they're getting the tv1 uh, tv2 lanes and there's just nothing going right for fusion right now yeah and it's actually like a horrible two on two and one on one on both sides right we saw the jarvan scion interaction where it's like oh you're just gonna hit my walls with your ultimate and now you're dead right and then in the bottom lane sivir is notorious for doing terribly against Callista. And even though he has the wave shove, they choose not to like back afterwards and then set themselves up. At that point, when you have the start of the game, Scion's doing red buff. And you're like, okay, we have control of this, uh, this side of the jungle. We know pretty much where they're gonna start. Send your duo lane to the top. Like It's really frustrating to watch this. If they want that two on two, they have ways to force it and get it. And they're not doing it. And to your point, especially about uh, Dignitas having control and and uh, showing their ability to capitalize on the minor mistakes of Fusion, the game seemed fairly close for a good portion of it. Uh, you know, s about even in kills, pretty close goal differential. But we saw Dignitas controlling those global objectives, right? We ended up getting them to four dragons and then eventually the Baron. And that's where you start, you know, sometimes we fail to notice that in the gold difference. It was a 1,700 gold difference, but two or three dragons. And that is something that I feel the LCS team in this scenario is, is using to their advantage a lot more. Because in the first game, we saw Fusion put a lot of priority on that dragon and it ended up biting them a little bit in, in that they overstayed. They committed too much of their time to the dragon. So they, I feel like they, they don't quite know what they're, uh, what they're doing or, or don't have the best game plan as the challenger team around these global objectives. And they're kind of just, I, I, I don't know. It's like they're waiting for Dignitas to tell them what to do. Part of it was that Dignitas was so far ahead bottom. Yeah, sure, the goal is even, maybe they only up by like five CS, but the pressure was there. And you could see that Dignitas was always being aggressive and Fusion was forced to be on the back foot just because the way lane goes, because Sivir is a bit weaker than Kalista early, and Janna is more of a defensive support against the Alistar. So they weren't winning these trades. And because of that, once Dignitas gets one kill, that lane snowballs and they're able to control Dragon, able to get the turret. There's so many good things that go f well for them in the 2v2 lane and they need to get that 2v1. It's, it's so, so not good for them to get into these 2v2s when their top laner isn't as good as Gamsu when it comes down to map play and their bot lane is just losing straight up 2v2s. Yeah, well, we'll look for that in game three. I do want to jump into our replay now. 28 minutes in, it's the Baron that Dignitas picked up. And w again, a very decisive call. Uh, you know, the, the TP advantage playing into it there. And then the fight that follows, they play that out pretty well too. So we're going to pull that up on your screens right now. Zarina, I'm going to have you walk us through it. So the setup for this is actually really brilliant because they, uh, Dignitas see that 
Nian, he's doing his Raptors at this point. He's still trying to get back into the game, and they know the TP is not available from Chunky Fresh, and they use the Hydra from Gamsu to shove the wave out, get him to a safe place, and he TPs in, not even for the fight, he TPs in to do the Baron faster. So you're going to see them come in here. Chunky Fresh has to get in a position to ultimate. He almost gets the Dream Ultimate onto the back line. He ends up making it to basically the second defense on Dignitas' side, and this almost goes Fusion's way. Off the front, Nian gets a lot of damage, and then right there, Chunky Fresh only hits a Zingy, and it could have been a little bit better, and they crit Core JJ back to back and get a third one on him, but he doesn't go down, and that could have been the turn right there if they had Chunky Fresh and Nintendo no longer having to chase him to be able to come around Shifter and then actually apply damage to that Ziggs, because he was untouched this fight. Yeah, absolutely, uh, if that ultimate had landed because we saw the Scion stun follow, right? That would have been just yep. enough uh, to keep that Callista locked down there. Uh, you know, so so I guess, you know, re-watching it, it's not like there was, you know, there's no hope yeah. for Fusion in, in, in a team fight like that. They had a way to get back in there. Yeah, that wasn't actually the cleanest Baron call from Ding Toss. Ding Toss, or Fusion had a ward on Baron. They saw them the moment they started it. Sure, they had Callista there, but if Nian was actually in position to help their team uh, immediately, they wouldn't have been able to do that. And it was it was just Nian not being in position, uh, Jing Tas getting kind of lucky, but they, I mean, they did have Kalista, then they have Jarvan TP in, so it was somewhat calculated, but I could see something like this going wrong very easily. I and mean, we saw in that fight, Kalista was pretty much one hit. Had an extra crit guy in there, had some extra little damage guy in there, she would have died, and that fight might have turned around too. All right, well, it's match point for Team Dignitas, so we'll see if they can re-secure their spot in the LCS with Game 3 versus Team Fusion. Don't go anywhere. The North American Summer Promotion Tournament continues after this. So, okay, same rhythm. Let's take Collected and win easily, but yeah. calmly. Flash away from his own ulti, and Kiwi can pop Zolpa, gets ignited. That should be a kill. Going over once again, maybe... Nice hey, 10 HP. Geno buys some time as well. Core JJ knocked around, nearly goes down, but now who he forced to kite away from Gamsu. Shifter knocks him down. Oh, actually, I have my combo here. Let's shift her. Okay, okay combo, combo. Sign, sign, sign. Hold me, hold me, Core. Okay, tower, 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 end it, end it. Okay, end it. And one more game will put them back into the North American LCS.